Hello, and welcome to this episode of Code Evolution. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate the quick and easy way to compile your TypeScript files with source maps and minification using Gulp. So just like in our last video, there's some initial steps we need to do to get started. In this case, we'll start by installing Gulp TypeScript Helper. One of Gulp TypeScript Helper's dependencies is Gulp, so we don't have to install that here. Next, we need to include Gulp's type declaration file. By typing tsd install gulp dash dash save dash dash resolve, we not only install Gulp, but any dependencies it may have, as in Node, Q, and Orchestra. From there, we just need to import a few things from Gulp TypeScript Helper. as well as we need to import Gulp itself. So as we demonstrated in the last video, in the case of Gulp, to get all the typings, we need to include Gulp's TypeScript declarations. And now we're all set to add our tasks. So before we continue, we need to set up the builder By specifying a from to, this indicates to the builder where you're going to be compiling from and where you're going to compile to. These options can then easily be overridden later. Before we continue, we also need to have specific TypeScript options that we're opting in for. So in this case, we're going to be compiling using source maps. We're going to target ES5, and we're going to use CommonJS as our module type. Although not required, using core TypeScript options is useful to ensure that you're using the right values with your options. Although also not required, using target and module are a nice way to easily select from the available target and module options. So next up, let's add our options and then execute our task. So each one of these steps is important. Firstly, init can take a subfolder in case you wanted to actually create a subdistribution within that folder. Clear will clear the folder that you're rendering to. This is important because sometimes you might introduce files or rename files or delete files from your source, and the structure might change, and then you'll have remnants behind that if you didn't clear, it would end up getting published with your package. Next up, if you want to minify your code, you simply have to indicate minify here that will signal to the builder that at the end of clearing and rendering, it will minify the code. And lastly, just calling execute will initiate the process. Now, one of the benefits of using Gulp TypeScript Helper is that it is promise-driven. So if you had a subsequent step that you needed to complete, you simply type then, and any extra processes you want to do after that. But for now, let's just see what it does. And there you go. It was that easy. As you might imagine, if you weren't using Gulp TypeScript Helper, there would be a lot of extra steps here and a lot of other dependencies to import here as well. It can also be daunting to try to figure out what options are available to you and if you made a mistake or not. This helps isolate those problems and makes them go away. So I know that not everyone needs to use Gulp or needs a task runner or needs to compile or minify or source maps. But for those who do, I hope this helps. Personally, I've dealt with very complex projects where this was an absolute must. Deploying to an environment that requires you to do complex builds, it's just not feasible to continue to do things manually. So that wraps up our Gulp TypeScript compilation series. 
Give us a like if this helped you. And if there's anything that you're concerned about or have questions about, go ahead and leave a comment below the video and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this content and want to see more, click subscribe and we'll see you again in the next video.